I am here in Oswald, NYC with Sarah Carner. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm excellent. Um, I'm so glad to be at this event. I've always been a fan of um, your brand. Thank you. And uh, it was great. We met at an Elements event a couple of years ago. Exactly. It was a pleasure. It, Very it nice was great. to meet you. It was great. Yes. Um, I want to talk to you about your brand because your brand is very unique. Sarah Corner, yes. Corner Barcelona. You live in Spain? Yes, I live in Spain. In fact, this is our fifth anniversary, so we've been around five years this That's year. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, it's a nice. So we are kind of celebrating this together with a new product we are launching, and it's great to have you here. No, it's, it's, what's interesting about your brand is that you kind of you have a family of leather makers, artisans, exactly, artisans. Um, yes. yes. Horses and... Well, yes. I mean, my great-grandfather started the business, uh, the leather business. They started manufacturing shoe soles. And with the years, it evolved into more luxurious, big, you know, pieces of leather, which they sell to, to the fashion houses. So I grew up within this environment of leathers, smoke, because they used to smoke a lot in the past. Okay. So the, uh, the woods, tobacco smells yeah, and the, tobacco, wood, the wood smells. Yeah, the barrels, you know, the barrels to yep. get the, the, the tan leather yeah, sure. made out of wood. So all this is um, it's a very familiar smells for me. How did it turn into a passion for a fragrance? Well, it has nothing to do, in fact, you no. know, because leathers so and... How did, uh, how did you spin off? I always, well, I always had the passion for perfumes. Okay. And since I was little, I, I, I knew I love it. And a life, you know, studies, uh, professional experiences brought me into this point okay. in which I had the chance to, to start my own project, my own collection, and yeah. I didn't hesitate. I, I jumped in it and... Um, and you're, you're, I mean, is your family still doing the leather? Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. So you're I still mean, involved in it and your family's still in it? I'm not involved in my family. family my, my father, my cousin, okay. yes, yes. Um, and, and, and Carna Barcelona, as a fragrance company, has really taken off. I mean, you are yes. in the Middle East, you're... Yes, uh, over, right? we started with uh, yeah, we are started with two perfumes. We are, have five perfumes now. We are started. We started in a small boutique in Barcelona. We have more than two hundred points of sale of, all over the world in Europe and in the Middle East, in America. Yeah. So can't complain. It's it's been a, a nice a nice trip so far, yeah. and um, well for many years to come. I I I, I, I hope. <laughs> well, let's talk about a couple of the scents briefly. Um, we know my favorite is D600. I know, I know. That's been one of my signature scents for a very long time. Um, it's comfortable. It's it's iris. That's I love iris. It's very unisex, but I also feel it warms up and it really works. It develops a lot into the skin. It's with um, the wearer, with the person who's wearing it. So absolutely, it's a very unique perfume. What was and, and again, I mean, we're doing not too long of an interview, but. What's the passion behind what, what created D600 for you? That was one of the first ones, right? It was you know, yeah, absolutely. Tardis, so, and it was that. D600 is a tribute to my hometown, to Barcelona. It starts with these spicy notes and uh, citric notes, just like la, the era of La Boqueria and La Ramblas. When you get, you know, there's the market and yep. you get all this spiciness and this citric notes. And then I, I wanted the perfume to become something sophisticated, something very nighty, you know, just like Barcelona, very cosmopolitan and, and modern. So we use this type of, um, you know, um, um, ingredients, just like you said, iris, also vetiver. It's uh, there's wood also inside. Yeah, yeah. It's a very sophisticated and evolving perfume that yeah. reminds me a lot about Barcelona. It's very, it's very modern. It's very, it is. It is. it's very cosmopolitan. It so is. that's what we were, were looking for in this perfume. I agree. Um, along with D six hundred, we also have Tardis, which was one of the um, the second. That was the second one, or that was technically the first. Yeah, one? Yeah, I mean, we launched both of them together, Tardis and D six hundred. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, we this is Heliotrope. Um, Angelica, right? What else exactly. Else? This one has almonds. At the beginning, it has almonds, geranium, it has celery, it has plum, it has uh, a tonka bean. Yeah. So heliotropy as well. Mask. It's very. It's powdery and it's um, more warm than maybe the 600. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the next one that came out was was Cures. Cures, exactly. Queers. Which, we, which yeah. you know, it's the one that um, it's all about my family heritage, the leather factory, the small, yeah. the uh, the um, the uh, wood of the barrels, 
the uh, the leathers. A little bit more masculine of the other scents. Yeah, maybe um, this one is the more masculine. Most. Although I have to say that it's, I mean, it's very, it's very successful among women also. Yeah. They like it yeah. also. Yeah. We like it, every day. We like more strong perfumes. That's true. Women. Yeah. Uh, Rima. Rima 11 is uh, it's and a this perfume. is fairly new. This came out last year. Yes, this came. Yeah. Right. This uh, one it's inspired in a perf in a poem of uh, Becker, which is a poet of the 19th century. Yeah. It's a romantic poet that talks about this um, untouchable woman, this uh, the sensuality behind, which is not the woman that is not conquerable. So it has these sweet notes, these sensual notes, nutmeg, coriander, cinnamon. Geared, geared a little bit more feminine. More feminine, absolutely. But, but fairly unisex. I mean, it has a clean... It's clean. unisex, but it's more... Uh, uh, you know, we said queers is masculine. This so would this be would lean feminine. The, this okay. is more towards feminine. And the most recent one the that one came out lounge. is yes. El Born. This June, Tell us yeah. about El... What is it? El Born. This El Born. came out last June. Last June. And this perfume, it's inspired in, in the neighborhood of El Born which is a, a very interesting and unique neighborhood of Barcelona. There are plenty of coffee shops, uh, liquor stores, vintage stores, museums. It's, a, it's like the medieval area of Barcelona. Okay. So I was inspired by all that environment. I wanted to capture... There's a lot the, of character um, in this fragrance. Yes. I get... I mean, there's a lot of licorice. And licorice very is a very... Licorice, you know, absolutely. anise is a very interesting note to use and to work with. It's very licorice and it, 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 it develops a lot also into the skin. I get some patchouli. Is there patchouli? Uh, there's patchouli. Okay. And it, it honey, gets honey, honey, angelica. Angelica. A lot and of it, interesting it, notes. Yes. I mean, you combine things that... Absolutely. They, they, I mean, one thing about all of your fragrances, this is very interesting. They're all very unique. They don't smell like other and brands. it turns out very woody, in fact. It starts yep. with their, this licorice accent, but yep. then it's very, very woody. It's very woody and the honey stays. And it's very stays. warm, absolutely. That's what keeps it warm. The exactly. sweetness, it's like a natural sweetness yeah. where that honey is just natural. It's and not yet, an, uh, after two or three hours, you don't feel that much the liquor on it. Yep. You feel more the warm than the uh, wood yes. of, of the I wore all day today. It smells fantastic. Great, it's, thank it's you. A great one. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, what else can you tell us? You, you may be going bigger places well, you may or, yes or I mean uh, we opening are, up the market we should say so we, yes, look, we keep are, on the lookout without giving away too yes. many things the brand is it's a pretty I mean we started in America two years ago so two and a half years ago and it's been um, a steady growth yep. but now we want to maybe jump into the next level and let, let more people out and there kind of get a chance I will try right? to, exactly yeah. I will try also to get myself um, into the process of building the brand in the US good so I'll be back and forth, Barcelona, New York, um, awesome. Spain, Spain right. America. It, this is a fantastic market and uh, it's uh, the place to be, you know? Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. So that means keep keep your eye out and, uh, you know, is there any other fragrances that are going to be coming soon that you can give us sneak we, peeks? Yes, we are we are developing a, a new perfume, but for next year, okay. maybe spring or, or summer, we'll see. Okay. We want to grow the line a little bit more. Okay. And um, still a small five perfumes. Yeah. We want to get give the customer the chance to select from wide range. A wider range. Any tips of what notes may be featured? I, I will let you know. It's about <laughs> yeah no no it's roses and paper. Okay. Okay. Roses and paper. Okay. Ink. And paper. Ink and paper. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And one thing that uh, I, I love about the brand is that you never have never discontinued anything and you don't have any plans here. No, you want absolutely. this to be a, a family company that grows. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, all perfumes are, uh, of course, they are best. They're best sellers best, and maybe not. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, I love all of them. They are my little kids, my little babies. And, I mean, also they they're all sell. Of they all sell. It's not that there are no perfumes that don't sell. Right. I mean, they are. So I don't have plans of this continuing, of course. And they've not. all touched touched people in their own way, and you and absolutely. Your and it's so nice to get comments online and to get comments from bloggers or from sure. journalists or from just uh, clients that send you their feedback and their opinion. And you know, it's so rewarding what someone tells you. This is the perfume of my life, or I wore this in my wedding. In my wedding, and then it's special too. Exactly, so yeah. special, and uh, it's it's something also very personal for me. All the perfumes. Yeah. So, what, last question. What do you pick up and put on most of the time? D600. D600. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's a winner. <laughs> it's true, it's true, it's my favorite. I mean, I love all of them, yeah. but the daily, my daily perfume is the 600. That's, that's it, yeah. Guys, Sarah Corner, Bar uh, Corner Barcelona, check out the scents, come here to Oswald's, check them out, go online, and, uh, and that's Thank it. you. We'll see you Thank soon. you for coming. Thank you.